Sex, part eight of eight. Ah, and lastly, to kind of close out this section on sex, here's a great comeback. Ladies, this is directed at the ladies. If anyone ever gives you grief about not sleeping with them, just say, oh, I'd love to sleep with you, but I'm saving myself for someone special. I long to be in a loving, committed, romantic relationship. I'd like to be married to that man too, if it works out. If you think you're the one for me, then let's take some time to get to know each other first. I want more than just sex, and a relationship always comes first with me. How does that sound to you? Oh, you're just looking to hang and chill, and you just got out of a serious relationship and you're not really ready to settle down? Interesting. Well, I'll let you work those things out on your own. Ta-ta for now. (laughs) And watch him run in the opposite direction. I tell you. Sheesh. (sighs) So, what do you think about some of my thoughts for you regarding the subject of sex? Do they make any sense? What common themes jumped out to you where it concerns sex? Just imagine heading out into the world of dating and you knew exactly how to handle the topic of sex. Wow. You'd be so much safer, properly guarded, and knowledgeable. So, on that note, let's summarize your new views. Number one, a committed relationship is a non-negotiable requirement for you to have sex with anyone. Number two, get tested for STDs, non-negotiable. Can be used to thwart unwanted advancements from those who want to have sex with you. Too soon. Number three, talk things out, verbally, with your clothes on, before you have sex. Get to know their history, likes, and other thoughts before you actually jump into bed together. Number four, control your urges. And don't let your horniness cause you to get into trouble or do something you'll regret later. A moment of pleasure can create a lifetime of regret if you're not careful. Choose to be careful. Number five, don't sleep around. Minimize your sexual body count. Quantity of times you sleep with one person is far better than quantity of bodies when it comes to your sexual conquests. Number six, guys, her pleasure comes first, always and forever. Details about this and the why and the how can be found in my two books, Laws of the Bedroom and Fantasy Boyfriend. Guys, gals, those books are required reading before you ever have sex, in my opinion, and from my personal experience. And number seven, sex is like fire. It can keep you warm or it can burn you. Which do you choose? Hint. Choose to keep you warm. I know. Easy answer. Which means you'll be taking your time to get to know the other person and only having sex in a long-term, committed relationship and under no other circumstances. Try doing it any other way. You risk trouble. Now, I could go on with more sex advice. But thus far, I think... This kind of covers what you need to know to keep you safe and how to handle yourself when the situation comes up, right? So check this out. Got questions? Ask Bart. How would you like to ask me a question about this topic, a situation you might be in, or something related to relationships? You can. You know, from time to time, I like to get on YouTube Live or Instagram Live and answer your questions. You can tell me your situation and ask me what I would do, or what I would say. Be sure to subscribe to my channels on YouTube and Instagram to get notified when I do go live. Because when I do, you're going to love it. Well, here's another topic that needs to be addressed now before you head out into the world looking for love. And you guessed it, it's money. Think about it. What are two things that can really mess up your relationship? Sex and money. So yeah, let's talk about money, shall we? Right, let's get going.